Good day, my scholars. You are welcome to my school channel. And my name is Abela. Remember, in this channel, you'll be joining me to solve the jam CBT past question for the subject biology the year 2012. Do not go anywhere, stay with us, and do the right. channel and in this video segment you'll be joining me to solve the questions 34 to 49 so join me as we start with question 34 the correct base pairing for dna is what you know when you talk about a protein is made up of um, chains of amino acids okay and we we'll give this description to polypeptide so we can now tell that the sequence of these bases in a dna molecule we tell you the type of amino acid and other information as well. So, the correct base pairing for a DNA molecule is the adenine to tamine and the guanine to cytosine. So, the correct option here is option A. 35. The short, thick beak in birds is an adaptation for what? For crushing seeds. We are looking at sparrows. Sparrow is a very good example for this kind of um, beak. Um, sucking nectar, we are looking at a long, slender kind of beak, okay? Uh, for instance, your sunbed. Um, tearing flesh, we are looking at beds of prey, carnivorous beds, okay? Uh, we are looking at eagles, okay? You see a strong cough, beak, okay? For straining mode, we are looking at dog, all right? And it is um, grooved, all right? Flat grooved, okay? So, crushing seeds, example, is your sparrow and it has a short, thick beak. So the correct option here is option A for crushing seeds. Question 36. The back skin of Agama lizards in the sun is to raise their body temperature to become active, okay? We know that reptiles, Agama lizards, they are cold-blooded, poikilotherm. So their temperature tracks that of their environment. So the coming outside of the Agama lizard to back is to tap sunlight eats in particular so that their body temperature can be raised okay they are cold blooded unlike humans that are warm blooded or warm blooded rather okay homo times all right so this is the correct option change the color of their body that's invalid to this question fight to defend their territories of course we know that um, lizards are territorial but this is not the reason why they box okay okay to attract females for courtship they can use um color display Okay, but definitely boxing of Agama lizard in the sun is to raise their body temperature to become active. So option B is the correct option. Question 37. The significance of a very large number of termites involved in nuptia swarming is to do what? Is to search for a favorable place to breed. Okay, this occurs when large number of um, male and female reproductives, okay, they are winged, of course, so you see them swarm and doing this flight, which we know as the nuptia or the wedding flight, okay, you now see a male and a female, they will isolate themselves in pairs, okay, then they look for a suitable place to breed, they land, their wings break off, they start digging tunnels and about a week or thereabouts, they start mating and they form a new colony. So the main purpose for this nuptial swarming is to search for a favorable place to breed. So option C is the correct option. Do not forget to click on the link in the description below. It's going to take you to the My School website. There you can download any of the My School tools, either the My School mobile app for your Android devices or the My School software for your laptops and computers. So join me as we solve question 38. The use and disuse of body parts and the inheritance of acquired traits were used to explain Jean Lamarck's theory, okay? Um, Darwin's theory is about natural selection, survival of the fittest. So the correct option here is option B for Lamarck's theory. Do not forget to hit that like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification so you can get notified as soon as we upload the next video content. 
39, from, this, from a study of Galapagos finches, okay, Darwin derived his theory of evolution from comparative physiology. We are talking about functional characteristics, okay? So, you know, this um, the Galapagos um, f uh, bird migrated from the mi mainland to the island. On getting there, due to the different um, kind of nature or environmental setup, okay, different kinds of um, finches now came up. We have those that feed on nectar, those that feed on nuts and bolts, those that feed on insects and those that feed on seeds, okay? So this is definitely a good show of comparative physiology, functional characteristics, which is obvious from their beak. So the correct option here is option B. Number 40, use the diagram above to answer this question, okay? The organ responsible for heredity at first is the nucleus, of course, and this is where we can point to. So the closest to what we can have is option B, which we identify as the nucleus. Question 41. Use the diagram above to answer this question. The part labeled IV is the what? Okay. This is the part labeled IV, the organ. Now that is the endoplasmic reticulum. We have the smooth and the rough rough okay so uh, basically we know that the endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the distribution of proteins and other materials around the cell we can say transport or distribution within the cytoplasm so the correct option here is option c for endoplasmic reticulum number 42 use the diagram above to answer this question Arrows represent directional movement of materials, okay? So transportation in the xylem is represented by what? By the arrow IV once again, okay? So this is because we know that the xylem conducts mineral salts and water from the roots to the leaves and other parts of the plants, while the phloem conducts manufactured food from the leaves to the other parts of the plant. So the correct um, structure, the correct parts is the part labeled IV shows the directional movement of water and mineral salt from the root to the leaves and other parts. So the correct option is option D for IV once again. Question 43. Use the diagram above to answer this question. Arrows represent directional movement of materials. So the arrow labeled 2 represents what? Okay. Um, this is of course a leaf. All right, and we know the leaf contains stomata. The stomata um, helps with transpiration. That is water loss, water vapor, um, leaving the cell, the leaves, the uh, cells of the leaves. Okay, and as well, gaseous exchange takes place through the stomata as well. You know, there is risk, there are causes for gaseous exchange, and that can be cellular respiration or photosynthesis. So, oxygen and carbon dioxide can enter or leave through the stomata found in the leaves. Okay, so this tells you that this is a movement for release of oxygen or the entrance of oxygen or release of carbon dioxide or the entrance of carbon dioxide as well the loss of water. So based on the context of option given to us, I can point to a the release of oxygen as the most viable answer to this question. 44. Use the diagram above to answer this question. Okay, the developing embryo is usually contained in the part labeled two. Okay, that is the uterus or the womb. All right, um, it's well muscular for the embryonic development. This is the ovary. Okay, this makes the fallopian tube. All right, this is the vagina. Uh, this is the cervix. Um, this is the urinary bladder, okay, the clitoris that we have here. So, the developing embryo is really contained in the part labeled 2 or II. So, we can find that in option C. So, option C is the correct option. Question 45. Use the diagram above to answer this question. Okay, so the function of the part labeled 3 or III is to do what is to produce ova that is the plural for ovum okay we are talking about egg cells and also female sex hormones that is the function of the ovary so the part labeled iii is the ovary okay so this is the ovidot or the fallopian tube that conducts the egg manufactured by the ovary okay so the correct option here is option a to produce egg cells 
Kindly click on the link in the description below. It's going to make you get to the My School website. There you can ask your questions right now, and our solution providers are going to help you out. So join me as we solve the next question. Use the diagram above to answer this question. Okay, so the graph illustrates what? This is what quantity or what character we are to measure, and that is height. Height, of course, is a continuous variation. You know, continuous variation where there is a gradual uh, distinction between two extremes, like height, tall, or short. Okay, so this continuous variation shows that it is either there or not, presence of hello or absence of it. So, height is a continuous variation. You can have height of being tall or height of been short so the correct option here is option c a continuously varying character it's possible that you have better explanation in tackling any of the question we have solved so far please would like to know all you need to do use that comment section below indicates the question number and the explanation you'd like to share question 47 the largest number of cassava plants has an approximate height of what? I can give you to the tallest here, 1.6 meters. So the option here is option B for 1.6 meters. Question 48. The type of interaction shown is referred to as interspecific competition. Okay, we are talking about two um, species of Paramecia. Okay, Paramecium aurelia and Paramecium caudatum. So you notice from the um, start that there was an initial growth by caudatum. All right, then you now see this decline. This tells you that aurelia out, out competes caudatum. Okay, so this is definitely an interspecific competition. They are the same genius but different species. So the correct option is option A for interspecific competition. Question 49. In the diagram, which of the following statements is true of the interaction between Paramecium Aurelia and Paramecium caudatum? Definitely Aurelia outcompetes caudatum, especially in the area of food. Okay, so Option A is the correct option. It's better adapted for obtaining food than Paramecium cow. That's all. We've come to the end of this video segment, but there are definitely more interesting content to come. All you need to do is to hit that like button. Also, click on the subscribe button. And always tap on bell notification so you can get notified as soon as we upload the next video segment.